Preparation of quiz for equations of lines. Question 17. Determine if each vector equation represents the same line as r equals to minus 2, 3 plus t 1 comma minus 2. Now, same line means what? First thing is the direction vector should be same. Then you have to check if the given point on the line lies on this line, right? So that is how you have to check whether the line is same or not. So the line should be parallel, that means this, and coincident. That means this point should lie on the given line, correct? Otherwise, it could be parallel, but not the same line, right? So first part is, let's see, what is m here? So m is minus 0 0.51. It doesn't look like this. But what you can do is, see, if I try to multiply it with minus 2, then what happens? If I multiply this with minus 2, look at this m. So if I do m times minus 2, it becomes minus 2 times half. This is half, right? It becomes 1, and minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. So, so I get the same same slope, right? The point is same. Do you see that? The point is same, correct? It exactly matches. So, each vector equation represents the same line. The answer is yes for this, correct? Since it has the same direction vector and the same point. Good. Now, this one, 2 minus 3, the point is not the same, but the direction vector is same. So, now what we have to do is check if this point lies on our given equation or not okay so let's check it how are you going to check it best way to do it is to write this in the parametric form so you can write this as x equals 2 minus 2 plus t and y equals to 3 minus 2t correct now you want x of 2 right we'll do it in a different ink here so we want x of 2. So if 2 lies here, find the value of t. So we say, well, if 2 equals 2 lies here on x, then the value of t should be minus 2 plus t. And that means t equals to, this comes here, 4. That means t equals to 4. And if I plug in t as 4 here, then what happens? Then the y value becomes y equals to 3 minus 2 times 4, which is uh, 3 minus 8, which is minus 5, not minus 3, correct? Not minus 3. So this point does not lie on the given line. It is parallel. So this is not coincident. It is a parallel line, okay? So it does not represent, so this is line is not coincident since the point 2 minus 3 do not lie on the given line. Correct? Now, let's do the next part. We'll have the same approach, okay? So that means, okay, because the direction vector is same, we have to check if minus 3, 5 lies on the given line. So if I put minus 3 for x, so we'll use the same equation. So minus 3 equals to minus 2 plus t, which gives us t equals to, when I bring it this side, minus 1. If I put t as minus 1 for my second equation, then I get y equals to 3 minus 2 minus 1, which is 3 plus 2, which is 5. Good, it matches. So, 5, right? So, that means the point minus 3 and 5 lies on L1, given line, right? Therefore, these are coincidental lines, right? That is how we should do these kinds of problems. I hope you understand. Thank you. I move on to the next question.